Welcome to part 4 lecture series on dental caries. Today we are going to delve into an essential concept in dental caries management known as Stephen's curve. This curve is crucial because it helps us to understand the delicate balance between the demineralization and remineralization which occurs in our tooth enamel particularly in relation to the pH levels in the oral environment. So, what exactly is a Stephen's curve? In simple terms, it's a graphical representation that shows us how the pH levels in the mouth, particularly in the dental plaque. So, how the pH levels are in the dental plaque after the consumption of the carbohydrates. So, understanding this curve is important because it directly relates to how and when our teeth are at risk of the demineralization which can eventually lead to the formation of the dental caries. So let's talk about the critical pH threshold. So the key point to remember here is the critical pH is the key point to remember here is critical pH is 5.5 and when the pH in the oral cavity drops below 5.5, so below 5.5 when it drops, the enamel of our teeth starts to demineralize. And in other words, the minerals which are present in the enamel, which are keeping our teeth strong, they begin to dissolve. So minerals begin to dissolve if the pH falls below 5.5 and the setting so this is the setting stage for the caries to develop let us understand the role of plaque maturation and the carbohydrates so this is a mature dental plaque which is sitting on the tooth surface so this mature dental plaque isn't just sitting like that passively on the tooth surface it is metabolically active metabolically it is active so it is the bacteria which are present in the plaque are metabolically active especially in the anaerobic environment anaerobic environment so when they are taking up the carbohydrates so when the carbohydrates reach the dental plaque the bacteria which are present in the dental plaque they are taking up the carbohydrates or the sugars and they are producing the acids. So, the produced acids are causing the lowering of the pH in the dental plaque. So, if the pH is falling below 5.5, then the enamel, re enamel demineralization process is started. So, which leads to the initiation of the caries. Let's walk through a practical example using the glucose rinse to see how the pH changes can indicate the patient's risk for the caries. Imagine a patient with a healthy oral environment where the pH is in the normal range. When the patient rinses with the glucose, the pH in their mouth is naturally dropping because the bacteria is starting to ferment the sugar. However, in this case, the pH is not falling below the critical threshold 5.5. That means there is no demineralization and the patient is caries free. Now, let's consider a patient with some early signs of the caries. Early signs of caries. After a glucose rinse, the pH drops below 5.5. So, the patient who is having slight caries activity, which is indicated in the blue mark, after giving the glucose rinse, the pH is falling below 5.5, but not by much and not for too long. So, the fall of the pH is not much and the pH will not uh, last, last there for a longer period of time. So, there is a very slight dip for a very short period. So, during this short period, the demineralization occurs, which suggests that the patient is having the moderate risk of the caries. Finally, let's look at the patient with the significant caries activity. 
so the red line indicates the significant or the extreme caries activity after the glucose rinse ph drops sharply and stay well below 5.5 for a extended period of time so this prolonged period of low ph means the enamel is under the constant attack and the demineralization is going on let us see the interpretation of the stephens curve so what does the stephens curve actually show us essentially it is a relationship between the time and the ph of the dental plaque after the exposure to the carbohydrates so let us understand what is the initial drop what is the critical phase and what is the recovery phase so initial drop right after the consumption of carbohydrates there is a rapid drop in the ph as the bacteria get to work fermenting the sugars so as the bacteria is starting uh, to ferment the sugars the ph in the oral cavity is dropping down so even if it is a healthy tooth the same thing happens so the ph is dropping down initially in the healthy tooth and also in the teeth which are showing the slight caries activity and also in the teeth which are showing the extreme caries activity this mechanism is same so after the consumption of carbohydrates the bacteria starts fermenting sugars so after that the ph starts to drop down rapidly and second phase is the critical phase if the ph drops below 5.5 so this is the mark 5.5 if the ph drops below 5.5 so in the slight caries activity and extreme caries activity we see the drop in the ph below 5.5 so when this drop happens the demineralization process begins so our teeth will be at risk for the caries and third is the recovery phase as the sugars are used up so this is a plaque and after fermentation of the sugars the ph is dropping down so the bacteria which are present in the plaque after using up the sugars the ph again starts to raise it tries to get back to the normal so this phase is allowing the remineralization so the ph has dropped down but after the sugars uh, were used up by the bacteria the ph starts to rise again when the ph starts to raise again remineralization process is initiated and the conditions become favorable the key takeaway here is that patients who experience prolonged periods of low ph are more likely to develop dental caries because their enamel is exposed to longer periods of demineralization to wrap things up stephens curve is an invaluable tool for us as dental professionals by understanding how ph levels fluctuate after carbohydrate exposure we can better assess a patient's caries risk and tailor our preventative strategies accordingly in our next session we will be discussing the mechanism of demineralization process If you found this video helpful hit the bell icon below and subscribe to my channel